Hi, my name is Miss Rogers here at Carver Elementary School. These are my fourth grade friends and today you're going to see a math lesson. All right, my friends, raise your hand if you can tell me what we've been doing in math for the past couple of days. Love the hands. Tell us, Cyrus. Rounding. We have been doing rounding. Can anyone read our I can statement at the front for us? Nice and loud. Let's see. Go ahead, Caroline. Very nice, and we've been doing this for a couple of days. So tell me, in front of your chest, I want you to give me a five if you feel really confident about rounding, and I want you to give me a zero if you feel like you're not too sure still. Show me in front of you how you're feeling about rounding. Oh good, I see lots of fours and fives. Okay good, I'm glad we're feeling confident. So here we have our rounding poem. Raise your hand if you remember our rounding poem. <clears throat> there are some missing blanks. Hmm. Let's see if we can fill in some of these blanks. I want you to think about it for a minute and then I'll let you whisper with your table. So think about it, read it, see if you can fill in those blanks and then I'll let you talk to your table about it. I see some thinking faces. I see some thumbs up too. That's good. All right, go ahead and whisper with your table. See if y'all can fill in those missing blanks. Good, I see some hands already. I heard some right answers with those whispers. All right, who can fill in our first blank? It says underline your, what Carter? Ooh, you're close. You're close, you're on the right track. Emma Grace? Good, we're gonna underline your place. Look right next door, blank or greater. Benji? Oh good, five or greater, add blank more. Oh, raise your hand, Olivia. One. One more. All numbers in blank stay the same. Carly? Front, stay the same. All numbers behind, whoa, three blanks. Who remembers the rhyme? Jacob? Good job, zeros, your name. Can anyone read the whole poem for us? Um, go ahead, Tyler. Fabulous, everyone give Tyler a round of applause. Round of applause, very nice. All right. Let's try some rounding. Can anyone read the directions for us? Go ahead, Cameron. Round the number to the nearest 10,000. Okay, before we start, raise your hand if you can tell us what digit is in the 10,000s place. Brielle? Uh, no, you're close. 10,000s. You gave us the thousands. Izzy? Two. Yes, the two. Go ahead and write this number on your board. See if you can round this to the 10,000s place. I'll even give you a little hint. Good job. I see people writing their numbers nice and neat. If you write them nice and neat, then you can read them. Good job. I see people underlining their place. Looking next door, looks good. All right, I underlined my place. I looked right next door. Is my number next door five or greater? Thumbs up or thumbs down? 
Thumbs up. If it is five or greater, raise your hand and tell me what happens to our two. Who hasn't said one yet? Quinn. It turns into a three. It turns into a three. Good. Who remembers the rest of our poem? All numbers in front do what, Caroline? All numbers in front stay the same. All numbers behind, Benji? Zero's your name. Zero's your name. Give me a thumbs up if you got this for your final answer. If you got this for your final answer, kiss your brain. Say thanks for working hard, brain. All right, next. Oh, who can read the directions for this one? Remember, directions are the most important part. Go ahead, Emma Grace. Ooh, okay, round the number to the nearest 100,000. What digit is in the hundred thousands place? Brielle? You got it. Good job. Round it on your boards. Go, go, go. Awesome. Good job. Ooh, see lots of right answers. Good job. I see people putting the caps back on their markers. Can anyone raise their hand and tell us our final answer? Since y'all are feeling so confident about rounding, read, make sure you read that number like a mathematician. Yes, sir. Good job. 700,000. Kiss your brain if you got it right. Y'all's brains are working hard this morning. All right, I'm not going to read you the directions this time. I want you to read the directions in your head and see if you can round it to the right place. Y'all are working so hard this morning. you're stuck on what place you can look at mine and check make sure you underlined the right place Ooh, the whole red table got it Ooh, the whole pink table got it raise your hand if you could tell us your final answer y'all are doing so good let's see who has said one Olivia good job 300,000 give me a thumbs up if you're ready for a harder one I think so. Let's skip forward. All right, here you go. It even says, uh -uh, be careful. We'll do it just like last time. Read the directions in your head. See if you can underline the right place. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yes. <gasps> yeah, you're right. You are exactly right. Good job. All right, I'm going to underline my place up here. Check yours, make sure you underlined the right place. The hundreds place, yeah? Very nice, all right. I underlined my hundreds place and I looked right next door. I see a five, so what does that mean for our nine, Cameron? Add one more. Add one more, oh, can you add one more to nine? No. Oh no, where do we add one more to? What do you think? Hardick? Yeah, the, um, not, the one from the five, two, three. 
Good. We're going to add that one to this three, which makes your three a what? Four. A four. So I'm going to write my four. All numbers in front? Stay the same. Good. All numbers behind? Zero. Piece of cake, right? Thumbs up if you got this for your final answer. Can someone read this number like a mathematician? Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. 144,000. One more like that. Got it? Yes. Ready? Finger on your nose if you're ready. Hand on your head if you're ready. Do a happy dance if you're ready. Woo, here we go. Ooh, make sure you read it because your place is changing up. can tell from up front. See lots of right answers. Okay. I underlined my place, I looked right next door. Thumbs up if it's greater than five next door. Yeah, I see an eight, right? What happens to this nine? Can I add one to that nine? No. No, I can't, someone tell us, Cyrus. So you gotta add another, uh, you gotta add one. Yeah, we need to add a one in the front because there's no number up here. So if I add my one in the front, all numbers in front. Any numbers in front? No. All numbers behind, Zero your name. zeros your name. How many times do I count before I put a comma? Three, three times, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Who can read this number like a mathematician? Big number. Oh my goodness. Elwood, read it for us. One million. One million. Raise your hand if you wish you had one million dollars. Me too. <laughs> All right, my friends. Take your cap of your marker and click it onto your marker for me. I'm gonna give your table a rounding sort today. It's gonna look like this. And on your sort, it says, in this column, the numbers round to 20,000. And in this column, the numbers round to 10,000. So at your table, you're gonna take out the direction card has all the words on it, right? It says the directions, round each number to the 10 thousands and then sort into the category. So you're either gonna pull a number out of the bag. I want everybody to round it on their whiteboard and then figure out which category it goes into. Sound good? Yes, yes sir. No, no gluing today. Just on paper. Got it? Got it. All right, here we go, let's get started. And I want everybody to do the same number at the same time. So take one number out of the bag, and I want everybody to round it. All right, take a number out of the bag. You can leave your whiteboard out, honey, so that you can do your um, rounding on it. Like Write your number down on your board. Keep your board out. Good job, and you're rounding to the ten thousands, right? Yes. Good job. Why don't y'all do one at a time? So why don't everybody do this one? Yeah? And round to the ten thousands. See if you all get the same answer. Good job. And everybody round it to the ten thousands. Oh yeah. Looks good. All right, y'all pick the same one and all round it together. Yeah, so that, that way you can make sure everybody's right. Yeah, that rounds it. All right, write it down. Round it to the ten thousands, please. 
Good job. Yep. 19,000. Oh, looks good. Alright, this is going to 20,000. Yep. You can round that one to the thousands. Yeah, since that one doesn't have a 10. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so round that one to the thousands because your number might end up in the 10,000s, right? Yeah. Good job. Nine, um, it's 9,982. Okay. Jacob, it's your turn to write it down now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Looks good. <gasps> Let me see. So if we look here, the 9 yes. is greater than 5, yes. so yes. we yes. round up. Yep. Yes. Yes. Good. We put them back in the bag. I have a second one for you. Oh wait. Let me check. Let me check. Ooh. I may check this one. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because the four would make that one stay the same, right? All right, my friends, go ahead and put those cards back in the bag for me, please. All right, let's see if we can get those cards in the bag by the time I hit zero. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and zero. All right. Just like we did at the beginning of the lesson, I would like for you to show me with your fingers how you're feeling about rounding now. So five, feeling really good. Zero, feeling eh, not so great. And anything in between, right? One, two, three, four, five. Lots of fives, good. I'm so glad we're feeling so confident about rounding. Y'all did a really nice job today. Thanks for joining us at Carver Elementary and watching our fourth grade rounding lesson. Go, go.